Looking for what you need to find quickly? We've got the answers for you. Using our Race Studio, it's very easy to get flustered by looking at all this information. We like to use the Channels tab report. This shows you the direct measurements that you need to find out, very simple terms. We like to use four main measurements as our race team to find information. The first one is our RPM, looking at both the minimum and the maximum RPM. This is critical when you're looking to change your sprockets in between sessions. You can see how the performance is for the acceleration compared to the top end. We also like to use the GPS speed. Once again, with that minimum and maximum measurements, that shows you your speed on the lowest corner, but also our top end speed. So it relates directly to our RPM and the sprocket changes that we might make. The last two tabs that we want to use is our GPS lateral grip. This shows how the cup is performing around the corners. And the last tab is our Lambda settings. And not all carts and engines have the Lambda settings attached to them, but if you do, this shows how the engine tune is on the racetrack. Those four essentials are very important to get the maximum performance out of your cart. So now let's look at it on the screen. What we're noticing here is with our RPM, we can start to see the different values. So if we are starting to change that sprocket, we can see that there's a maximum and a minimum RPM speed. Now, normally when you're looking to change the sprocket, it's about a 250 RPM differential. So if you're going down a sprocket, expect to lose about 250 RPM off that minimum RPM speed. Our top end speed that we're looking at in the tab, it's very easy to compare the two sessions. So in one session, we can see that we've got 94 as a max, and down below, very similar terms, because this is the same driver with the same sprocket, but we want to sort of compare where our time difference is won and lost. Our minimum speeds here are very important to how the driver is cornering on the most difficult corner of the racetrack. When looking at our GPS lateral grip, this is something that we sort of like to determine from going to the track, finding out when the cart is at its best, and then referencing those numbers. So in this instance, we're looking at a time of a 45.9 second lap time. It's at a 2.09 grip level. So that's our reference point for looking at other laps. Now we're looking at our next session. Again, they're very comparable. Again, we said the same driver on the same session. Our last one is our exhaust temp. So this is quite critical for our engine tune. And we're looking at our top exhaust temperature and also the minimum. So what it's like coming out of the corners is more in regards to the engine temp, but also that top exhaust temp as well is to show whether you need to change the engine tune on your carburation. Now, if we wanna add or remove the different measurements that we wanna assess, we simply go to the right-hand side of the screen, we click add remove. Once selected, we then choose what we wanna look at. In this instance, we'll select something that we don't have on the screen currently. So we'll go with a different grip level. Once we've clicked GPS long, we then wanna select the minimum. And by clicking the arrow, which is the second one down, we click that minimum across. We simply click the max now. We wanna see the minimum and the maximum for that chosen value. The same arrow, once selected, we click OK. Now this brings up on our, on our screen the GPS long, which is our numbers on our minimum and our maximum. This is not something we typically use that measurement, but I just want to show that as an example of how you add or remove a certain channel. So that's how we would best use the channels tab. I think this is the most efficient way for beginners to assess their data. It has everything right there in front of you. Rather than scrolling through each individual lap on your Micron data logger, this has two sessions or multiple sessions that you can add on the one screen and you can see the essential measurements that you need right there in front of you.